change. I'm filming and it's sunset right now. But I wanted really, really bad to make this video. So I'm doing it. I have a box beside me with all the products I use. And when I say a box, I mean... I got a box of products I use. The products in the box are all products that I use on a daily. If not, I use them at least once a week. I just wanted to make a compilation and show you what I have. For the shower, I used to have shampoo and conditioner before. I've tried multiple, multiple ones to find one that fits with my hair. Uh, my hair gets like kind of frizzy, not frizzy, but wavy sometimes. Like I have like different sorts of things in my hair. Uh, it took me a lot of time to find the right one and I've stuck with these for the past year and they're really working great for me so it's the Dove one. The nourishing oil care one that has uh, for frizzy dry hair. I've tried different ones that are for regular hair, for oily hair, for like super dry hair. None of them have worked and these are just revolutionary for me but I know that different types of scalps and skin works with different shampoos. So for my body, I've had multiple different ones. At the moment, I really like the Dove, Dove. It's a mousse, body wash mousse. It's a coconut oil one. I really like this one because you can shave with it. You can just like take it and just shave. And if you put it in your hand, I, uh, it really looks like uh, shaving cream that you that men would use uh that's more skincare but i do it in the shower i have the cerave foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin because i have mixed skin i have like my t-zone is oily but the rest of my face is really dry are you all right bubs i do my little dancey dance it's, it's just my food <laughs> bubs it's just my food He's playing with my Clementine. So usually I'll do this for like about a minute in the shower of just like rubbing it, rubbing it in my face, either with my hands or with just a like brush. And once I get out of the shower, I use the moisturizing, moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin. Moisturizing <laughs> lotion for normal to dry skin. And usually I'll go and apply it on all my face in the winter but during like spring summer i'll put it just like on the dry area i am i have a super oily nose so i won't put it on there because like you're adding moisturizer moist, moisture to a place that's already oily out of the shower i'll put some uh either the aveno skin relief coconut one on my legs and my arms or I'll usually go with the Coco Caban Cabana Cream the, from Sol de Janeiro. I know most people use this one, the Bum Bum Brazilian one, but I prefer the Coco Cabana uh, scent to it. Usually I'll put this one on my legs and my arms because they get really, really dry. And usually this one, I'll use it when um, I feel like scratching my arms because I have like I get super nervous and anxious a lot of the times and I've I have this bad habit of just scratching my arms or my legs or like picking at little like random pimples that just appear out of nowhere and I've trained and tricked my brain <laughs> with putting like lotion on the areas I want to scratch and it stops me from scratching it. I wanted to mention that I mention a lot of coconut stuff and the best trick I found is finding a scent that you like and that calms you and then finding products that you can use daily and implementing the scent so that like you trick your brain into thinking you're relaxed because you're sensing that specific like scent. Still with the hair, the days that I don't shower or my hair gets greasy but i don't have the time to take a shower i'll go with the, the dry shampoo and they have so many different uh scents to it but i use a lot of coconut so i have this one that i use 
if I have like really like cute frizzy hair and I want to keep it and it's like dry like this I use the hairspray in for the dove again to just fix it and make sure that I can have like an extra day of my cute little frizzies my deodorant i don't know if you have that problem but i've always had the bar ones that you apply directly and i sweat a lot in my armpits and they never work and for some odd reason the uh dove one like these the spray deodorant these ones work wonders in the summer when it gets super hot i can keep my armpits dry and good with these and the bars, they don't work. In the same direction of my uh, scratching habits, I pick a lot of my lips. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I have cracked lips all the time. And again, to stop myself from picking at my lips, I use lip balm and I'll have, I have Brutus Bees. I'll usually go for the strawberry one, but I have a coconut one, a vanilla one, and a uh, cucumber one. I put them almost everywhere, and when I w want to pick up my lips, I just put lip balm on, and it helps. That's little tips that I've discovered myself to help with the uh, anxious picking at everything. The days that I want to put on makeup, I have either two ways to get it off. I'll usually go for the Neutro uh, Gina Only One Makeup Wipes. Uh, I think that's just a generic and a classic one. They are, work wonders, but if I want to go and take the time, I have some reusable like little pads that you can use and I just use like micellar water. We're on to the last few things. Uh, for summer, for my face, I'll use the Neutro Gina 30 FPS Ultra Sheer one. Uh, for sunscreen, I'll usually go for this one. For my body, I use the, is it Banana Boat? I use the spray bottles because I don't like texture of normal sunscreen, so I'll just go and spray. I know it's better to have cream sunscreen, but I prefer to spray ones. Dental care. I don't know if anyone cares, but I wanted to mention it. I use two types of toothpaste. My like go-to favorite one is the Crest Plus Scope Outlast, but the minted version. And it has like whitening. This is what I've been using for years and it always works. And for the past months, I think I've been using the Crest 3D White uh, Charcoal um, Tea Tree Oil Whitening Therapy a lot. I've been using this and it's Amazing, it just costs a little bit more than this one. So if you want to go on the more expensive side, this one or the more normal, this one. They do taste kind of similar, but this one with the charcoal, it does taste different. I use this type of uh, dental floss and I like that it has the little like roll thing like this. So that's what I'll use and for my rinse, Thing. I've picked up this one not too long ago and I liked it. I've been trying to find one that works the best one for dental hygiene. That's the end of the video. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, have a good day, good night, wherever you are. I love you.